When an acid is mixed with a base in the correct quantity, a type of reaction occurs called a neutralization reaction. A neutralization reaction occurs when an acid and a base combine to produce salt and water. Here, hydrochloric acid combines with sodium hydroxide to produce sodium chloride and water. This is a double displacement and neutralization reaction. An acid-base titration is one of the most accurate methods of quantitative analysis. The process involves slowly adding a base to an acid or an acid to a base. One of the solutions is placed into a burette, a long, thin tube with graduated markings, and is called the titrant. While the other solution is placed into an Erlenmeyer flask along with an indicator. When the indicator changes color, the acid or base in the flask has been neutralized and we stop adding titrant. The whole point of titration is to stop adding titrant when stoichiometrically equal amounts of the two solutions have been combined. This point is called the equivalence point. When the color changes, the person operating the equipment knows it's time to stop adding titrant. If we know the initial and final volumes of the two solutions and the initial concentration of one of the solutions, we can calculate the concentration of the other solution. Common indicators are bromothamol blue, which is used with a strong acid and a strong base, phenolphthalein, which is used with a weak acid because it works in pH range 7 to 11, methyl red, which is used with a weak base because it works in pH range 3 to 7. Here is a sample calculation. The question reads, in a titration, 16.80 milliliters of an aqueous sodium hydroxide solution of unknown concentration is neutralized by 25 milliliters of a 0.190 moles per liter solution of sulfuric acid. What is the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution? To solve this question, we first write the balanced equation of the reaction. Now we must find the moles of sulfuric acid. To do this, we convert the volume to liters and then use the relationship N equals V times C. Since the process of titration deals with stoichiometric amounts, we can use the equation factor to find out the number of moles of sodium hydroxide solution. Now we know both the volume and the number of moles, so we can use the relationship C equals N over V. And thus, the concentration of sodium hydroxide is 0.565 moles per liter. This is how you set up the experiment. Take a stand, an Erlenmeyer flask, a burette and a clamp. Attach the burette to the clamp. Ensure that the burette does not touch the flask because the burette is extremely fragile. Place your original solution into the flask and note the original volume. Now, using a funnel, place your titrant into the burette. Do this carefully and slowly, because the burette, although long, only holds about 50 milliliters and it's easy to spill. Now, using the valve on the side of the burette, carefully allow the titrant to flow into the flask. While doing this, swirl the flask with your other hand. When you notice that it takes longer for the color to disappear when you add titrant, slow the amount of titrant you are adding because you are nearing the equivalence point. Continue to do this until the solution changes color and does not change back. You have reached the equivalence point.